with Grammarly. So when IBM compatible computers first became a thing, IBM had their version, of course. But can you imagine what it would be like if people thought the personal computer was impossible? Like, it's not, it wasn't a matter, do I want one, do I not want one? It's like, let's just say it was a, the, the hypothetical scenario I'm describing is a near religious belief that the personal computer is impossible. Can you see anything happening except maybe, well, you can imagine a scenario where IBM dominates this market market and you don't have people like surely Hewlett Packard had one yeah Hewlett Packard you know Compaq Dell those players do you think those players would have happened if people had a near religious belief that personal home computers were impossible I feel like that's kind of the scenario we're heading into with Tesla because people don't believe that a computer can be, well, that, uh, sorry, people don't believe that an artificial intelligence can have the same kind of intelligence as a human. So there's a blanket of disbelief that the concept fundamentally is achievable or not. And maybe there's not a lot of demand to prove that to anyone. In a sense, you can't really, could you make money off of proving that your, you know, that your product is way better than people think it is before you ship? Is there any reason to do that at all? Anyway, thinking about androids and what I've started to call corporeal bots, because bot seems to be uh, being utilized as a way to refer to as an artificial intelligence. Or, uh, no, uh, as a corporeal android, as a bot. Yeah, sorry, that that's the one. And, you know, bot, I think corporeal bot, it isn't too redundant. You can kind of specify, you know, where your bot is implemented. But... There's some weird stuff that's going to happen in the Android and corporeal artificial general intelligence space and one of the reasons is because budding up one of our prejudices and maybe even one of our insecurities and just our inability to imagine synthetic things because uh, as being equal to us because we don't understand a lot of us don't understand the material foundation in our own neural networks. So, let this be a warning to you. I might have to buy Tesla stocks at some point. <clears throat> or maybe even partner with someone that has some sort of business relationship with Elon Musk because those are the people who understand that the neural network in here it's the same neural network that's going to be showing up and delivering 
for industry. And maybe what it's ending up being my specialties, special, my, uh, what might be ending up being my specialty is one of the qualities that Elon Musk also has, which is sort of, you could say for the automatic driving, maybe his insight was, you know, these two, these two eyes do the job for us. So, you know, uh, you know, a subset of this brain and something nearly equivalent to this eyes and sensory input should definitely be able to control a car. I believe he is approaching autonomous driving with that dogma and it is not a bad dogma to have, but I'm going to sort of turn it on its head and be like, well, foundational things I've learned about how to create and compress neural networks, they can be utilized for human beings as well. I don't see why not. And I actually have a interesting maybe advantage on other people because I'm a neurodiverse person. So I've con been constructing models for different cognition for quite some time. And these are implementations of cognition that run on neural networks. My friends and family and acquaintances.